Well, hello there, scrap fans. Hope everyone has been well. I haven't done a video for a while. I've been busy with other stuff. Busy during the week with work and been doing a lot of uh, garage sales and flea markets, that kind of thing, on the weekend. So it just hasn't left a huge amount of time for scrapping. But, figured I'd come out and do a little bit this evening. Very stressful day at work. Well, actually very stressful last couple of months at work. You know, people quitting suddenly with no notice and just leaving a big mess for other people behind. To me, that's rather inconsiderate, but yeah, that's just me. So uh, what am I stripping here? Well, this is uh, AC90, it's proper name. Armored cable, BX is what we typically refer to, to it. So this is three conductor number 12. Various ways to strip it, but this one works pretty good. Just peel the end off a bit, put it in the vise. And then just make sure this end here is free. There we go. It's being extra difficult for some reason. Well, that's just the way things like to be. Tighten her up there. There we go. And just twist the armor a bit. And give her a tug. Usually comes off pretty good. And you gotta get this paper out of there. There's still some in the middle. Yep. I yard that out. What you like about this stuff is not much waste. So I'll throw this. I got a couple of tubs of aluminum going in on outside. The scorcher out today 33 35 something like that oh, there's my couple of aluminum tubs a little bit in there a little cooler in here because the door is closed all day Just take the ground wire off. Throw her on the pile. Got my number one bright and shiny going on here. Okay, so let's grab another chunk. Oh, this is exceptionally long one so you don't want to strip too much of this at a time about four or five feet is all you want to do and again just free up the end in the old vice. Yeah, 
Yeah, I haven't been too uh, in enthused about getting any scrap ready either just because the uh, price of copper was down. That's mainly what I like to take in. Copper, aluminum, brass. That's my deal. So, copper was down, but actually it's starting to make a rally. Uh, just check this evening, it's I think it's 384 US a pound. That's on the world market, but. Price of crop is kind of based on that too. Has to be. It had a shot up to 390 something, but then it uh, basically retreated the next day. I think it was some uh, political instability in South America. Because that's where most of the copper comes from. Get all this prepped and then I'll set the wire stripper up and run all that through. dandy little bandsaw. Nice clean cut. Oh yeah. Have a nice clean cut it actually unravels a lot better too. I'm actually going uh, fishing on Friday. We're taking off on Friday. And yeah, we're driving over to Vancouver Island. And then Saturday we'll be out in the Pacific Ocean. Hopefully catching some salmon, but... It's like everything else, the uh, fishing has been going downhill every year but hopefully there's still a few left for us I'm sure there will be it's nice where we go it's very remote and rugged country of course when we go it's supposed to start raining down there next week but the water's actually calmer when it's raining. You have these heat fronts move in, it makes for huge rollers out on the open ocean, so it's hard to fish when you got like 10, 15 foot rollers coming in, so although it's a little wetter, it'll <laughs> a lot easier to fish. Look at that, spring loaded. Well, hopefully I'll get a few videos of that. Look at that. Come on, man. Just I remember to take my camera with me and... Actually shoot some video. So I think I've said before, if you go by any... Uh, you see steel studs in a dumpster, I can just about guarantee you're going to find VX cable in there too. 
a lot of people just don't bother with it because it's more work but I don't mind it and like I say there's a good percentage of scrappable material in it two wires a little bit tighter so you just twist the jacket and it comes off fairly easy voila always wear gloves when I'm doing this well, I always try to wear gloves but this stuff is quite greasy you don't wear gloves, your hands are black. They use some kind of a lubricant in the manufacturing process. So. If you're working with this stuff, your hands will be black. By the end of the day, and of course you rub your face, and next thing you know, you're smudged up all over the place. So yeah, I'm probably going to make another uh, trip down to the coast for scrap purposes. The end of July, beginning of August. Still got uh, a fair bit of copper. And I've got still got two transformers over there. Two of these transformers. So there's still got lots of stuff to process, but I prefer to do it during the winter because here the grad sales are strictly a seasonal thing. So June and July are the best months. And it starts to die off in August because uh, people are on vacation. And then September, really not much going on. So Not sure what the next swap meet is. I'll be going to is going to be a couple of my buddies are uh, going to the one in Red Deer that's coming up so our friend Nice Junk Dan is going to that one but I don't think I'll make that one 99% well, sure I won't make it because That'll be the weekend after I get back from fishing, so I don't think Mrs. Mack will be too infused, enthused if I disappear for two weekends in a row. Well, she might be, but I don't think so. So there's another one coming up in uh, Creston, B.C. in uh, I think that's towards the end of August might go to that one it's hard to say it's a five hour drive though one way so. but we try to get a few guys together that way everybody uh, splits the expenses So 
so we'll see. I'll definitely be doing the flea market again, though, uh, the weekend I get back. It wasn't that great this weekend. It was all right, but it was just too hot. And I'll have to find some more stuff between now and then, so. But, sometimes the stuff finds you. Yeah, this is three number twelve, so fair bit of copper in each one of these. So this one's about the maximum length you'd want to work on. Get that paper out of there. There's a bit left in here. Yep. There we go. It's always nice to have one pre-strip for you. Okay. Oh, these are the... Uh, I showed these on the channel there a while back. A couple of nice uh, oil cans I got a while back. Go with the other ones I have up there along with my steam engine. So anyways, I'll keep plugging away at this. It's starting to warm up in here now too, so. Anyways, that's just what I've been up to. Thought I would touch base with everyone again, and I will see you all later. Bye for now.